Oh! Oh my god. Hi dolls! <laughs> and welcome back to the channel welcome if you're new you know what to do go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become a part of the family my name is Z and we do all tons of fun feminine content on this channel so if that's something you're into please make sure you press the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new vid all of my social medias will be sprinkled in the description box below so now that you dolls know everything you need to know let's go ahead and hop into this video welcome back to another fragrance friday you guys and today's video we are going to be focusing on home fragrance you all saw the title so today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing goose creek candles now i have never ever tried goose Creek candles before i am an avid stand for bath and body works candles i feel like all the candles that i've tried in the past just they do not line up with bath and body works potency level and the throw that Bath & Body Works has in their candles. If you dolls know of any other candles you'd like me to review and try out for you, please do let me know in the comments below. Or if you know of any fragrance like perfumes or anything you guys want me to review, you can leave those in the comments below as well. Anyways, you guys, I literally got the box in the mail. I got a notification on my phone while I was at work that the box was delivered. And I could not believe my ears because you guys, if you watch my Vlogmas videos, so then you know I ordered these candles ugh, the week of Black Friday, Cyber Monday-ish. So it's been almost a month since I've ordered the candles. So I had been uh, patiently awaiting these candles. Now I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little story time of what the ordering process was like. Um, like I said, if you did watch my Vlogmas, you kind of already know what kind of happened at the beginning. I found their website really difficult to use and kind of confusing only because when you place your order, it doesn't give you a confirmation number. It doesn't give you an order number. It doesn't tell you that your order was placed. It just literally blanks out and takes you to the homepage. And then probably like I want to say a few uh, minutes to an hour later, you may get a confirmation email. I had placed an order and it blinked out of the page and sent me back to the homepage. So I I didn't know if the order had gone through or not and at the time it was like cyber monday and i would put things in my cart and they would disappear out of the cart so i just assumed somebody had bought it and i need to repurchase it so i put another order in and the same thing happened only that second time i did get an email confirmation saying that my order had been placed then i went back and looked at my bank because i thought oh my god well the first time i placed the order it did the same thing and i noticed that there were three charges for orders on my account so they charged me three times that <laughs> was a little unnerving and a little unsettling I was very very nervous about that I tried to reach out to them and no one answered the phone it was an automated message that pointed me to the direction of their website where they said there would be a live chat agent I looked on there for a live chat agent I was not able to get to any live chat agent when I open the live chat box it just gives you a window of questions with answers to them and if you don't find the answer to your question there you're kind of SOL um, so that was a little unnerving and then I ended up finding a support email that I could reach out to it said that it would be 24 to 30 no 24 to 48 hours before they were reply back so I did send an email that way through support letting them know what had happened and then I just looked into their company a bit more because I was getting nervous and I noticed that their return policy is a little bit um, scary. Um, it's really difficult to return through them. You have to have pictures of things, they have to be broken, stuff like that. And then also they don't pay for the return shipping so you have to pay to return the item. So there's a few things that I saw upon purchasing the candles that on their website that kind of made me a little unsettled. Um, I definitely feel like Bath & Body Works obviously is a bigger company and so their return policy and their customer service to me was just a higher caliber than Google 
Moose Creek candles. And the only reason why I'm comparing them to uh, Bath & Body Works is because I believe, for me, Bath & Body Works is the best in the game right now when it comes to the level of uh, products that they put out and the quality as well. Um, so I just felt like comparing it to Bath & Body Works. Also, I do feel like Goose Creek Candles kind of went after Bath & Body Works. I'll show you guys their packaging and everything right now, but it definitely does tend to look like they're trying to be in competition with Bath & Body Works and they're trying to be an option for a dupe for Bath & Body Works. The only thing about that option that they have is that their candles are priced at the same price as Bath & Body Works. So that's a little, uh, a little weird, a little off for me. I did get my candles for a Black Friday sale, so I did get a discount off. Also, when I signed up with my email, I also got an additional discount on top of the price. So these candles came out to around $8 a piece, even though I think they were initially $25 each. So I just wanted to throw that out. Um, so yeah, that was my initial experience um, with ordering from them. I did get an email from support 48 hours later telling me that they had canceled the first initial orders that I had placed and that they would only send me one order. So they did rectify the situation. But then again, like I told you guys, after two weeks later, I didn't hear anything about if my order was shipped or anything like that so I literally reached out to them and was like hey I just wanted to check on my order and then right after that probably like the next day I got an email confirmation saying your order was shipped and then I had to wait an additional week for it to show up so it literally took about a month to get my candles not the best customer service but we're gonna try out these candles and see how they compare to other candles in the industry and how they specifically compare to Bath & Body Works because I feel like that is their ongoing competition not necessarily their competition but that is who they're kind of modeling their business off of okay enough rambling now that you guys got the little cute story time and the disclaimer out of the way we are going to be reviewing their Candyland line they also came out with a little Debbie sweet cake line that I also want to try out if these do well there are six in the collection and I will read them right here right now right now their candles are on sale for $13.99 so they're always having a sale but I can see here now that I'm on their website that um, they're typically $25.50 so like the price of a Bath and Body Works candle oh they have a candy corn elf on a shelf okay so they it looks like they have six candles in this line they have a Jolly candle one is called mr mint which is the one that i was really interested in trying out and then king candy grandma nuts or grandma nuts queen frostine and Candyland, the original um goose creek candles and you guys can correct me if i'm wrong if you're familiar with them they don't have an in-store shopping i looked online i didn't see any like home-based in-store shopping i only saw um, online so it looks like they're like an e-commerce business they don't really have an in-store so I picked up three out of the six of these candles because I was gonna buy the entire line but I was like wait a second I don't need six candles I'm not gonna burn all of these up in enough time and also I don't really know if these are good candles or not so I just didn't want to invest the money without trying them first so the one that I picked up is mr. mint that was the one I was most excited about because it matches the theme of my Candyland bedroom which I don't know if you guys are seeing that before or after this video it well I actually you guys might see me it might be the same day so I might be in the same outfit actually that one was gonna be for my my uh, room I thought it would be a great candle to go in my room um, and then the other one I picked up is Queen Frostine and Candyland so those are the three that I picked up so here's the box like I told you guys I just got it last night so it came in a plain box, which I'm happy it came like this because um, Bath & Body Works boxes are really nicely packaged, but honestly, I needed this box to ship a Christmas gift in, so I'm happy it didn't have like all of their logos on it. But if I wasn't gonna use this box to ship out a Christmas package, what would I have liked the packaging to be? I wish that they would have did something and it wasn't just a plain white box. You're trying to go up against Bath & Body Works. You really do got to give a punch because Bath & Body Works is on with the marketing. So I wish that they would have done something with their box to reflect their brand. I also noticed on their website that y'all, literally even the letters, like the font of the letters that they use for their logo is also the same font as Bath & Body Works. Even the same colors, you guys, down to the same colors. It's like blue and white. The Inside, they have these like candle holder cups or what do you would call this a tray I guess candle holders 
um bath and body works uses these as well so i think they got really smart with that they just really modeled their business off of bath and body works and then tried to do what bath and body works is doing but you could tell they i feel like you can tell just by the packaging of the box not the candles yet that they didn't have like the resources that bath and body works has that's what i'm going to say okay so the first one we're going to try out is okay so we have candy land here and put the box down because it's a little bit heavy so the first one we have ooh, look at that packaging you guys we have a candy land it is really pretty it looks just like the candy land game it's crazy because i feel like candy land was definitely a theme this year i noticed dolls kill they had a lot of candy land clothing and i also saw some candy land chocolates at uh burlington yesterday so i think I think Candyland is the theme this year for Christmas, but it's really, really cute. I'm obsessed with it. it. Looks just like the box. Let's check out the wax inside. Here's the lid, a plain white lid. It does have the embossed Goose Creek in the top, just like how Bath and Body Works does that, or they used to do that before. I don't know if you guys remember, they used to have like lids like this with it embossed. They're doing the same thing, but to be honest with you, Bath and Body Works has stepped up their lid game and they're doing a lot more of a decorative lid. They know that the consumers who are purchasing their candles are also want the candles to look really good with their home decor. So Goose Creek, you have, if you're gonna be in competition with Bath and Body Works, you're gonna have to change this lid. I think this is very, very boring and I think it's also just lazy um so yeah especially if you're charging the same price as bath and body works you have to have the same quality as bath and body works that's my opinion so before we get into smelling this candle i want to look up the uh, fragrance notes for you guys so you can see what they're like okay so for candyland it says let's play explore the magical land of candyland where all your sweet dreams come true okay see that's really nice that's cute that's something that bath and body works does they do have a story that they tell with their fragrances and i love that so it says the prominent scent notes are cotton candy gummy worms okay let's see because you know when bath and body works says something is gummy worms you're gonna smell straight up gummy worms you're not gonna smell gummy bears you're gonna smell the gummy worms like i don't know how bath and body works does it but they do it pink sugar so cotton candy gummy worms pink sugar and mandarin zest okay and some of the best practices to use their candles just because it's new i'm going to give you guys this it says to remember to always place your candle in a fire resistant and sturdy surface away from drafty areas like windows and air vents to ensure a clean and even burn make sure to light all the wicks of your candle and avoid burning your candle for more than three hours at a time remember to always keep your candles out of reach of children and pets never leave your candles burning unattended um, so it says about this product, Goose Creek 3 Wood Candles are 14.5 ounce and are designed to quickly fill large spaces with fragrance. So I'm expecting it to fill the room when I burn it. Each candle is highly scented using some of the most premium fragrance oils and essential oils on the market. Each candle burns for up to 45 hours and 100% lead free wicks. Oh, our premium wicks prevent excessive smoking and soothing, ensuring a clean and long life burn made from our unique uh, proprietary soy wax blend each candle is poured in the USA using a top quality ingredients from the USA and around the world first of all I was going to say upon opening the box I really didn't smell any of the candles when I opened the box up which Bath and Body Works as soon as you open that box you smell the scent so I'm already feeling like these aren't going to be as strong as Bath and Body Works just because I can't smell it but maybe it's the packaging really like owning in and holding in the the notes and the scent but i don't know so you guys oh okay you guys the wax is blue it's a light baby blue color i think i mean it did say that there was cotton candy in here and a lot of times people um connect cotton candy with a light blue color i myself connect it with pink but uk so this smells really good it does smell like candy i do smell the cotton candy oh it does smell good i am gonna say i have smelled something similar and it's just not as strong as bath and body Eric's on the cold sniff i'm not gonna lie to you guys like it smells good but i you really do have to take it in bath and body works you don't you can girl you don't even have to burn it I, a lot of my bath and body works candles you guys i just take off the lid and let sit cold and it fills the room i don't feel like this is a candle that will fill the entire space of a home 
maybe a room possibly a room we're gonna try it out it does smell quite strongly in the lid more than it does um, from the wax which is normal Bath and Body Works candles does that as well but still even on the lid it's not giving as strong as Bath and Body Works I do smell like gummy worms for sure it smells it has like this soury sweet scent to it like like gummy worms so I do really like that I smell that zesty um, mandarin I think they said but I'm smelling more of like a lemon like maybe a, like a lemony orange scent oh it's so good I'm also smelling like a little bit more strawberry like a sweet strawberry it smells like a bowl of candy I'm not gonna lie to you guys I think this would also be nice for Halloween to burn as well because it really does smell like candy like if I was gonna imagine how Candyland the game would smell inside of it this would definitely be it um so I really do like this. Okay, so it says they're located in Kentucky at the bottom. Uh, okay, so yeah, I really do like the scent of this. Do I think it's as potent as Bath and Body Works? Absolutely not. If I was gonna rate the potency of this candle on a scale from one to 10, I would say this is definitely more along the lines of like a 5.5 for me in potency compared to Bath and Body Works. I just feel like Bath and Body Works is on a whole nother level potency wise. I also feel like the notes in here are prominent, but they're not as strong as Bath & Body Works. But if if you are looking for a dupe for Bath & Body Works, I do feel like this is kind of a dupe for Bath & Body Works. I think what you get with Goose Creek Candles is the fun theme of the packaging. Like, I don't like the lid. They could have made the lid pink. They could have made the lid light blue. They could have did something a little bit more fun with the lid. But other than that, the packaging is very, very pretty, very, very much on brand, on theme. It's giving me the story. It's telling me everything I need to know. I feel like I am a uh, Queen Frostine in Candyland and I always wanted to be her anyway so I feel like I am her when I smell this candle like I said I can't really rate the throw right now I'm gonna burn this in just a second so I can see how the throw is and then we'll talk a little bit in the comments about longevity later on because I actually have to go to work after this so I can't leave my candles burning for a while and come back because Pinky my little kitty will be here so we're gonna test it out and I'll give you like guys longevity tests and stuff in the comments below I'll also try to leave it in a description box after I tested it out I would probably give this fragrance notes a 8 out of 10 I feel like for the most part I smell all of the fragrance notes I feel like I would have liked it to be more of like a bubble gummy note in here even though they didn't mention that in the fragrance notes I just feel like it needed to be a little bit more of a sweeter note to it I think the pink sugar did make it smell a lot sweeter but I just wish there was like a bubble gummy note in here and that's not on them because they didn't mention having a bubble gummy note so I can't really judge them on that because they didn't say that they would have that but other than that I really do like this this does kind of remind me of another fragrance that Bath and Body Works has done but I can't put my finger on it right now but if I had to rate this fragrance out of 10 I would rate the fragrance notes definitely a 9 out of 10 it is a very good fragrance it smells like Candyland it feels like you're walking in the game like it definitely does um, so let's rate the packaging on this you guys the lids fit just like Bath & Body Works giving you the same type of packaging as Bath & Body Works in terms of the container none of the candles broke on me at all on the way here so I feel like the packaging is pretty similar to Bath & Body Works packaging I do however hate the lid I think it's lazy I think you could do better especially if you're charging Bath & Body Works price you're not that Bath and Body Works so you gotta really step it up if you're gonna be in competition with them and they're decorative they have decorative lids so you definitely want to step that up for the lid I'm gonna mark down some points for that but you guys for the actual like print on the actual candle this is really really nice I do like that they went with a colored wax I hate when people do white waxes it's just so boring of course if it was pink it would have been even better but I mean, I think for packaging, I'm gonna rate the packaging a, mm, I have to take out points for the lid, but outside of points for the lid, I would rate the packaging a 9.3. I think packaging is right on point. It's right up the alley. It's definitely giving you a walk in the Candyland dream, just minus that lid. You guys step up the lid and the packaging will be A1 for me. Potency for me is going to get a six out of 10. I feel like it could have been a lot more potent. If you're gonna go up against Bath & Body Works, you know that they're bringing the potency, you know that they're bringing the throw, so you have to bring 
doing that as well. It has a good level of potency, but it just reminds me of like a candle I could get and Target or at Marshalls potency wise it's not on the same level as Bath and Body Works potency wise so for that reason I would rate the potency level like a I'm gonna go ahead and give this a six for uh, potency level and I'm not sure about the throw yet like I told you guys we're gonna test it out in a minute and I'll let you guys know what I feel about the throw and longevity we'll talk about in the comments okay let's get into the next candle okay you guys here's the one I was most excited about trying it out and this one is mr. mint I'm obsessed with the packaging. There's like gumdrops and candy lollipops and candies and cakes all over it. There's a photo of Mr. Mint in the middle ice skating with like mint through a mint candy forest. Like how could you not? The packaging is pink. It's selling it to me. It matches my theme perfectly this year. So I'm so excited about this candle. Again, I do feel the lid could have been a little different. You guys could have at least painted it lid like candy cane stripes or something. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm not really a pepperminty girl when it comes to fragrance notes, like Bath and Body Works, Twisted Peppermint. I don't like that scent. I don't like that scent in a candle and I don't like it in the body care. I just feel like it's, I don't know, I just don't, I've never liked it. And I also felt like it was just like a really weak scent. This one reads, pass through the peppermint forest to see Mr. Mint. The chilled aroma of winter peppermint fills the air. Like, I feel like I'm like ice skating with Mr. Mint. Like, I haven't even smelt the candle yet, and I'm literally visualizing myself in like an all pink outfit with like candy cane striped leggings ice skating with my perfect Mr. Mint Man. Like, that's what I'm imagining. It says the prominent scent notes are iced peppermint white woods vanilla and sparkling sugar okay let's see what she's looking like girl the wax better be pink if the wax is not pink i'm gonna be really upset if this wax is white it better not be white <gasps> pink wax like what else can you really ask for okay 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 goose creek okay go off now y'all stepping it up i really do like this okay i can smell it from here the minty Notice, actually, it's a lot more minty than I had expected, but I do like it. Um, okay, so the first off, I do smell the peppermint. I do smell like this sweet, sugary note. Almost like a winter vanilla buttercream and mint. It's definitely a more of a cooler scent. It's definitely not like a warm, spicy peppermint. I was expecting warm and spicy, but it's a cool chilled peppermint, which matches exactly the story that they were trying to tell. So kudos to you guys for getting that like perfectly. I don't smell the woodsy note that they're mentioning, but maybe we'll smell that on the burn. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to update you guys later, like I said. I don't know if I smell sparkling sugar. I feel like I smell sugar. It's definitely sweet. Sparkling sugar, you're kind of pushing it. Um, I smell the peppermint and it's very sugary and I also smell vanilla. To me, it smells like peppermints and marshmallows if you will the sparkling part i really don't get like when bath and body works says sparkling i smell the like carbonation in the candle i don't really smell that here i'm also not getting like a strong woodsy smell and i think they said there's like a vanilla wood smell in there i'm not getting a woodsy note so that's a little bit of a bummer on their forefront i personally don't really care about the woodsy note only you mentioned it in your description as being a prominent note so i really felt like i needed to smell that so i'm hoping that on the burn we'll smell that woodsy note a little bit more i am gonna say i'm a little bit disappointed in the peppermint note in this candle because it smells very artificial yeah it just smells like a fake pepperminty candy note and it doesn't smell like bath and body works candied peppermint i personally don't like bath and body works twisted peppermint but i have to say I like that scent better than this one only because I feel like their twisted peppermint note like the peppermint note is very very pepperminty it smells like a real candy cane but it does smell like a light scent like a light airy marshmallows and peppermint I do feel like it's a very chilled scent and that I do feel like I am ice skating with my peppermint man in a peppermint candy cane forest 
I'm definitely going to burn this. I'm interested to see what it's going to smell like on the burn. I had high expectations for this just because of the packaging and the name alone. But unfortunately, it did not live up to my standards. I still will burn it because I still like it because I'm hoping that on the burn it'll smell different sometimes you guys the cold sniff is just not the same as the burn so and also i feel like this potency of this one is a little bit weaker than the potency of the candyland one for fragrance notes i'm gonna rate this one a 4.8 i just wish that the peppermint note since this is the main note was a lot more potent and more of a real fresh peppermint and less of that artificial uh fake pepperminty smells and for potency i'm gonna go ahead and rate it a 3.8 for potency i just feel like the potency on this was very disappointing on the cold sniff i just did not get that burst of winter mint and marshmallowy candy notes and i also didn't really smell the woodsy note in the fragrance notes so that's another reason why on the cold sniff and i'm also getting like a milky smell which is fine because that could be like the vanilla creamy note that they had in there so i mean i really like it i just don't love it if that makes sense and i'm a little bit disappointed in this one but packaging you guys packaging is off the chain i mean the wax is pink the packaging's pink you got your mr peppermint man like he's selling it to me he's giving me a whole a fantasy so I'm definitely going to rate the packaging on this one a 9.5 for me. This is almost a 10 in my book. That lid, you gotta change out the lid. So I'm gonna say no to the lid. Ooh, okay you guys, now this one, oh my gosh, I love it. Okay you guys, so the last candle we have is Queen Frostine and she's actually the only candle that I can smell right now out of the package without taking off the lid, which is a lot to be said it's purple packaging it's also it's a matte packaging guys with like i don't know if you can tell but it's like a uh, metallic finish print all over it with candies and cakes and goodies i think the prints are all the same yeah it's the same as the mr peppermint print only it's in purple i think that's cute um i am a little bit confused on why they gave queen frostine purple instead of blue only because her dress, like the character, is in blue. So I just expected her to have like the blue packaging and also a blue wax. But they gave the blue wax to the Candyland packaging. I don't know why. I love her. She's one of my favorite characters in Candyland, of course. I've always wanted to be her. You guys already know how I feel about the lid, so I'm not going to go into talking about that too, too much. Oh my god, look at that. Is that not telling a story? Let me go ahead and pull up these fragrance notes so we can get into seeing what we think about this one. Okay, so it says, Advance to the Ice Cream Seas, where Queen Frostine creates the magical scent of pink vanilla cream. Prominent scent notes are vanilla frosting, sweet cream, vanilla sugar, and pink strawberry. Okay. Okay, let's open her. Oh, now this is bussin'. Okay, this is the best scent. I This is the best scent out of all three that I got. This is the best one. This is bussin'. Oh, my. I just want to lick this. I just want to lick you. It smells like a buttercream frosting it smells like a buttercream cake like real buttercream cake with candies on it oh my god it smells so good i cannot describe to y'all this is really good is it on the potency level of bath and body works no not quite but it's a lot higher than the other candles the wax is a, a lavender purple color which does match the packaging kudos to you guys for doing the color wax i love that for packaging I'm gonna give the packaging, I, you guys know, all of the packaging is probably gonna be the same. I'm gonna give the packaging a 9.5 for this one. I do love the packaging. I do wish she probably was a little blue. I think that you could have made it a little bit more blue, but it's fine for me. Potency level, I'm gonna give this one a higher potency than the other two. I feel like this potency level was on a seven, while the other ones was more like six to five. I love this one the most. The fragrance notes in here are so freaking good. I feel like I'm sitting on cup cakes and frostings with queen frosting having a like spa day with her like that's what i feel like like we're swimming in the ocean of buttercream like i oh oh my god bath and butter definitely has a candle that smells like this and i have to think of what it is oh this is my favorite i want to give this a 10 out of 10 but i can't because of the lid so i'm gonna give this a 9.9 .9 out of 10 
Oh my God, if they had just upped the level of potency on this and also changed out the lid, this would have been a 10, you guys. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. Okay dolls, that was all of the candles that I had to review for you dolls today. I am gonna do a little burn test for you guys and I'm gonna start that here. Okay dolls, so the candle has been burning for a little while now, probably about 15 minutes. And what I will say is it is not as potent as Bath & Body Works. The throw isn't that great. It fills a good part of the room and my bedroom is a little bit on the larger side. So I would say that it's not filling the room like Bath & Body Works candles do, but it does fill the area that it's in pretty well. I would say it probably fills about this much of like this side of my bed. I wouldn't say it fills my entire bedroom because I do have like a whole closet, walk-in closet area that you don't smell the candle in at all. I'm gonna rate the throw on this a, hmm, I'm gonna make the throw a 4.8 on this. I just feel like it could throw could have been a lot better and I, again I'm comparing this to Bath and Body Works throw so that is what I'm rating it by so yeah I hope this was helpful I'm gonna try the other candles and I'll let you guys know in the comments below how I feel about them and I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe leave your suggestions in the comments below for what you would like me to review let me know if you tried out Goose Creek and what are your favorite candles I love you don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye dolls. Mwah. Love you. Oh, cotton candy.